Hello everyone. In this video, let us discuss about the factors affecting the formation of ionic bond. What are the factors that affects that favors the ionic bond formation? See, ionic bond is formed by the force of attraction, electrostatic force of attraction between cation and anion. So, uh, the factors which affects the cation and anion formation are the same factors which will be affecting ionic bond. Let us see those factors formation. See, there are four major factors which affects ionic bond formation. If you take, in order to form a cation, if you take a cation, in order to form that cation, that atom should have a very big size. Then only it can lose the electron. Cation is formed by losing an electron. So, in order to lose that electron, that atom should have less interaction with the electron, uh, less interaction between the nucleus and electron. That means either the size should be greater or the electron affinity should be low. Then only that atom can lose the electron and it can form a cation. Coming to anion, in order to form an anion, atom should have the greater affinity to attract the electron or that should have smaller size so that the nuclear charge on the electron will be stronger so it can attract the electrons to form anion. So what should be there? Here an atom if it is having bigger size if it is having bigger size the incoming electron if it enters into this shell here the attraction between this nucleus and the electron what is this? This is nucleus. The attraction between this nucleus and the incoming electron should be greater. Then only it can form anion. If it can't attract it, if it is, see, if the atom is somewhat bigger in size, very big in size, then the incoming electron will not be attracted much by the nucleus. So therefore, this can't form anion. Right. So as the size is less here, as the attraction between the nucleus and the incoming electron is more here, this can form anion. Okay, this can form anion, this cannot form anion. This can't form anion means what it can form? It can form cation right as there is no uh, attraction with the attraction uh, between the nucleus and the electron strongly so this electron can be lost readily if the electron is lost readily then it, it, it will be forming which kind of uh, ion cation so this can form anion means it can't form cation are you understanding because there is a strong attraction between the nucleus and the valence electron here. So therefore, that will be holding the electrons, it will not lose the electron. So therefore, here it can form anion, it cannot form cation. So in this way, we have four factors. So these are the four factors that will be affecting the cation and anion formation. Let us write the cation. In case of cation, how this atomic size should be? And in case of anion, how this uh, atomic size should be. So just now we have seen from this example. Atomic size for cation, to form a cation, the atomic size should be very big. Then only it can lose the electron readily. So atomic size should be high. The atomic size should be high in case of cation. And in case of anion, the atomic size should be low. Atomic size should be low, that means atom should be small so that it can attract the incoming electrons very strongly to form an anion. Right? Next, ionization energy. Ionization energy means what? Amount of energy required to remove an electron. So here, in order to form the cation, that ionization energy should be less. If by, by providing less amount of energy we can remove the electron means it will favor cation. So ionization energy should be low. If the ionization energy is very high, that means that atom should be provided more energy, that means that atom is not 
uh, ready to lose electron. So here, in order to form a cation, this ionization energy should be low. This ionization energy should be what? Low. Right. Next. Ionization energy in case of anion, that should be high. To remove the electron, we need to provide more energy. So therefore, that means that here we are, uh, that means that atom is not uh, ready to lose electron. So therefore, here we can simply say that ionization energy in case of anions will be high. That means an atom with higher, uh, higher ionization energy is uh, ready to form an anion. Next, electron affinity. Electron affinity means, means what? It is affection towards the incoming electron. So, if an atom is having more affection towards an incoming electron means it will form which kind of ion? It will form anion. It is, a, it is a more eager to gain the electron. So, it will form anion. So, the atom with low electron affinity will form cation. So, here the low electron affinity elements are going to form cation. High electron affinity elements are going to form anion. Next, coming to electronegativity. Electronegativity means what? Tendency to gain the bonded electrons, to receive the bonded electrons. That means here also the same affection towards the electrons is more. So, more electronegativity, more will be the chances for anion formation. So, here cation will be formed in the case of atoms with low electronegativity. So, here it is low electronegativity. In the case of anion, the electronegativity should be high. So these are the four factors which affects the formation of this uh, cation or anion. So these are the same factors which will be affecting the ionic bond formation.